Well, hi guys. I'm outside today, um, sitting under a tree on a nice sunny day. So, uh, yes, that's terrific, isn't it? So I hope I don't sound too weird, but I'm going to help you with simultaneous equations to find the rule for a function. This is stuff that you've been doing forever. Well, certainly from year 10, and this is no different. The only difference in today's uh, situation is that we're going to be dealing with uh, equations of functions which are non-linear. But look, the procedure is exactly the same exactly the same and after you substitute the values of x and y in you just get linear equations anyway so it may, really makes no difference so don't be put off let's have a go and see what we can do and have some fun together okay the the points 2 and 3 x comma y and 4 comma 2 are on the curve with equation f of x equals a over x plus b that's a uh, hyperbola that one uh, because it's a 1 over x kind of, kind of function. We have to find the values of a and b for you and me. So we substitute 2 and 3 into the equation for f of x and we get that. Have a look, see if you agree. Now we're going to multiply both sides by 2 and we get that, a linear equation in a and b. And then we'll do the same thing now for the second point, which was this one here, 4 and 2. Uh, let's do that. And we get this. And we multiply both sides by 4 and we get that don't we? We do. Now, we're going to solve those two linear equations in A and B, and I'm going to use elimination. You could use substitution, it really matters not, whatever feels more comfortable for you, but I'm going to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So 8 minus 6 is 2, A minus A is nothing, and 4B minus 2B gets me 2B, doesn't it? Great! So therefore B equals 1. Mm? Excellent. Now we're going to substitute for that b equals 1 into uh, either one of those equations. Um, I did it into equation 1. All right, so therefore we, equation 1 can be rewritten as uh, 6 equals a plus 2 times 1, which means a has to be 4. There it goes. There's a is 4, b is 1. That's the answer, right? How easy is it? So um, let's, uh, do, let's, some, let's show you how to do it with the CAS. I'm using the TI handheld instrument. Now the first thing I do is I basically plug that equation in to the calculator as f1 of x. Now the way I do that is I write out a over x plus b and then I, I what I do, there's a few ways to do this, but I go control store. That gets me this little arrow here. Then you can either type f1 bracket x in or if you've got a whole lot of functions already typed in, you can just hit the var button here and select from the list okay and then just hit enter when you've got the right one and then it'll give you a done which means no problem green light all systems go then what you do then is basically you then go algebra that's number three algebra and then you go okay number seven solve system of equations yes then you go solve, well there's two actual sub-menus there with solve system of equations. You can just select, you can solve a, a number, you can use number two if you like, but I think I actually use number one, because they are linear equations, and I don't really think it matters much. So um, I selected number one, you can select number one or two, it really doesn't matter because they are linear equations. And what happens then? You get this little screen that pops up and says, well, how many equations have you got for us today? And you just make sure you've got number two typed in there. And then the, the variables, you've got to tell the calculator what the variables are. In, uh, I think it's x comma y, which is there by default. So I just rub that out with the backspace key. And I go a comma b in this instance. And then you hit the enter key and you get the answer. Beautiful, isn't it? So nice. So that's how you do it with CADs, okay? Well, I want you to practice that and get used to it. If you haven't got a CAS handheld device, use some other whatever else you're using, whatever brand you're using. This is the second of two examples in this video. It's a short video. Uh, the points 2 and 5 and 10 and 9 both lie on the curve with equation y equals a root x minus 1. This is a square root one this time, plus b. Don't worry about that. We're going to find a and b, and uh, it's going to be as easy as the last one. So if you substitute 2 and 5 into that equation, x is 2, y is 5, you get that. Hmm. Good, isn't it? Yeah, good. Uh, and that comes to a plus b equals 5. If you then substitute the second point, which is 10 and 9, into that equation, 
you are going to get this. Uh, is that right? Yeah, because the square root of 9 is... Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. So 10 minus 1 is 9 for x, and the square root of that is 3. Okay, that's what happens. So then you get 3a plus b equals 9, and call that equation 2. Now... Again, I think I'm going to use, yes, I'm using elimination, I'm subtracting equation 1 from equation 2, and I'm going to get 2a plus no b's is equal to 4, I think. Yes, that's a equals 2, and then you substitute a equals 2 back into one of those equations, probably equation 1 would be easier because you haven't got any uh, much in the way of coefficients here, the coefficient of both the a and the b term is 1. So... A, put that into equation 1, and you get equation 1 becomes 2, which is what A is, plus B equals 5, and therefore B must be 3, fills us with glee, and we've got the answer, right? Now, if you want to do that with uh, CAS, what you do is the same thing. I'll show you the screens. First of all, you type your function in, right? This time I've made it F2 of X. Then you go through the same routine. Basically, you say, OK, I want algebra, number 3, not actions, number 1. It's actually this one here. Algebra, 3. Then you go, a solve system of equations, number 7. And then that little sub-menu comes up again. I think I just did 1 again. And you go, uh, you know, I've got two equations, and I've got A and B here, not X, comma Y, which is the default. Hit Enter, and you get the answer. Yes? mighty fine guys and I think that's the end yes that was a short little video for you go and do some practice get good at it and make sure you know how to use your handheld device because that's very important okay have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time bye